Hey, in this tutorial we're going to be looking at transformations using matrices. So basically all our transformations that we've looked at so far they can be uh, represented using matrices. Okay, so we'll go through our different types of um, transformations and then we'll bring it all together. So dilations. So for a, di a dilation of a factor of A parallel to the x-axis or in the y direction, okay, then we're talking about this matrix here. So saying a transition matrix okay, is equal to x dash y dash in our matrix. And that's equal to A001 xy equals axy. Now remembering the way we do this is this is a multiplication. We've got one matrix here multiplied by another one. So remember when we multiply matrices, okay, we run and dive. Okay, run and dive. So we go A times X and 0 times Y. So that becomes our AX plus 0 Y or just AX. And then along this one, we run and dive. So we had 0 times X is 0 and 1 times Y is Y. Okay, and similarly, if we have a dilation factor uh, of A parallel to the Y axis or from the X axis, then we have our transition matrix, again XY is defined as X dash Y dash of 1, 0, 0, A, uh, XY. So then we run and dive, so we go 1 times X, 0 times Y, gives us our X, and 0 times X and A times Y will give us our AY. And we'll do some work examples soon of how we actually use these. So we'll flip over and we'll talk about our reflection matrices. Okay, so if we have a reflection in the y-axis, again we're defining our matrix, our transformation matrix the same way, we've got our x dash, y dash, and we've got negative 1, 0, 0, 1, okay, and our xy, so we run and dive, negative 1 times x gives us negative x, and 0 times y gives us 0, and 0 times x and 1 times y gives us y. So this reflects in the y-axis. When we reflect in the x-axis, it's basically exactly the same, except we've got our negative 1 here. So we do zero times uh, sorry, 1 times x and 0 times y gives us our x and 0 times x and minus 1 times y gives us our negative y. Okay, and if we need to reflect in the line y equals x, okay, so our, our line y equals x going up there, we've got to reflect, uh, reflect in that. What we do is we change where our zeros and ones are. So we go 0, 1, 1, 0. So then when our x dash here, well, we, to get that, Okay, well we go 0 times x, 1 times y gives us y, and 1 times x and 0 times y gives us our x. So all we've done is we've ended up flipping our positions of our x and y's. Okay. And if we're going to do translations, okay, if we want to translate by b units in the x direction and c units in the y direction, then what we do is this, we've got our x dash y dash, but we still have our 1 0 0 1 matrix. Okay, our x, y, and then we've got a second matrix B uh, that we're adding, which is um, B, C. So what we need to do is multiply through here first, and we go 1 times x plus 0 times y. Well, that's going to be x, and we add on our B value, and we get x plus B. And for this row, we go 0 times x is 0, 1 times y is y, and y plus C gives us our y plus C here. Okay, so we'll look at doing a couple of work examples, okay, and then uh, we'll look at combining our transformations. Okay, so we've got to use matrices to find the equations of the following transform functions. Okay, so we've got the graph of y equals 1 on x, okay, which has been dilated by a factor of 2. So dilated factor of 2, okay, and that's parallel to the, to the y axis. Okay, so we'll look at that one first. So we need to set up our matrix and say, well, we've got T of our x, y equals our x dash y dash okay, and that's equal to well, for a dilation of a factor of 2 parallel to the y axis that means that we need 
and our two down the bottom. Okay, and we still need our X, Y. So we did, if you look back, you'll see that that's where we put our, our A, or in this case, two. Right? And now we multiply through our matrix and go, well, one times X and zero times Y will give us X. Okay, and zero times X and two times Y will give us two Y. Okay, so we're not finished, we're, just, we're gonna keep going. So what we do is we say, well, X dash equals X. Okay, so X dash equals X and y dash equals 2y. Now what we're going to do from here, okay, for each of these, we need to rearrange to get our x and our y by ourselves. So you see, this one's already there, that we've got x is x dash, but we've got 2y equals y dash, so we're gonna divide by two, and get y equals y dash on two. Okay, what we do now, okay, is we put these, okay, into our equation. Okay, so we have here, okay, so where we've got our y, we're gonna put our y dash on two. So we get y dash on two, okay, equaling one over our x dash. Okay, because we've got to do the same thing for there. Okay, then we want to get, then really, once we sub them in, we can ignore the dashes, okay? And we want to just, Get rid of our two here, so then say we've got y equals two over x. Okay, so once we do our multiplying through our matrix, okay, we just need to um, rearrange to get our x and y by itself, okay, and then sub those into our equation. So one, I'll look at one more of these ones. Okay, so we've got. Uh, the graph of y equals x cubed, okay, and it's reflected in the y-axis. Okay, so we set up our matrices, t of x, y equals our x dash, y dash, And remember for our reflection in the y-axis, our one at the top becomes a negative one. X, Y. Okay, if we multiply through, we get minus one times X and zero times Y, so it'll give us minus X. And zero times one and one times Y will give us our Y. So then we say, well, X dash equals X, uh, negative X and y dash equals y. Okay, we don't need to rearrange this one, but we do this one, so it means that x equals negative x dash. Okay, and we sub those in. Okay, so wherever we've got our, uh, our y in our equation, we put in our y dash, y dash equals, wherever we've got an x, we've got to put in negative x dash. Okay, we can ignore our dashes now, okay, and that's gonna be the same as y equals negative x cubed. Okay, because we're cubing our x, and we're cubing our negative one, which is negative one. Okay, uh, we'll keep moving on, okay, and we'll look at combining our transformations. So this time, we wanna use matrices to dilate the function y equals the cube root of x, so we're dilating that. Okay, it's gonna be a factor of a half parallel to the x-axis. I'm gonna reflect Y axis, and we're going to translate it two units to the right. Okay, 
So we need to start off with our dilation matrix first. Okay, so our dilation matrix, I'm going to factor of a half, that means that you're in parallel to the x-axis, so it means we have a half up here. But when we want to reflect it in the y-axis, okay, that means our term up here becomes negative. Okay, so we put that negative in there. So our, in the textbook, they use a separate matrix to represent our reflection, but we can, and then do the middle step, but we can go straight to here. When we're, we're just reflecting in the X or Y, it's really just making either this or this term, these two terms, one of those ones negative. Okay. It would only be if we want to do a dilation and then reflect in the line Y equals um, X, that we might need to do a little bit more work. Okay. And the other thing that we want to do okay, is also uh, translate two units to the right. Okay, so that's going to be matrix two zero. Okay, so when we put all together, well, we've got our translation matrix, our x, y, equaling x dash y dash. Okay, and that's going to equal our negative a half zero zero one x y plus now yeah, two zero which is going to equal a half negative a half times x okay is negative yeah, plus zero times y so that's it's going to give us negative a half x plus two so negative a half x plus two and down here we go zero times x is zero one times y is y plus zero is just y. Okay, so we're getting there. And so we go, well, our x dash equals negative a half x plus two, okay, and y dash equals y. So I've got to do some rearranging here because we'll get x by itself. So we'll say we've got x dash minus two okay, equals negative a half x, okay, so then I've got negative x, sorry, negative 2x dash plus 4, okay, equaling our x, okay, and then we're set for our y. So wherever we've got a y, put our y dash, so y dash equals the cube root, Oh, where we've got an x, we've got to put in all this. Negative 2x dash plus 4. Okay. So our y equals our cube root of negative 2x plus 4. So basically when we're subbing in, once we've got our x and y by itself, when we're subbing in, you can basically just skip this step. Okay, ignore the x dash and y dash when you sub in your values and just take them away. Okay, so hopefully that's enough to get you through the questions on this section.